distinguished guests, the First Lady of the United States, accompanied by the 67th Secretary of State, Hillary Rodham Clinton, David Rockefeller Jr., and Hisashi Kieda. Please welcome the 2023 Premium Imperiali Laureates, Via Selmans, Winton Marsalis, and Robert Wilson. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the White House. <laughs> Too often, our world asks us to sprint from moment to moment, from meeting to meeting. Uh, we all know that feeling, right? You know, I just finished my classes and quickly rushed back to the White House and changed my clothes for this event. <laughs> But art stops us in our tracks. It feeds our spirit when we're hungry for something more. It shows the contours of our sorrows and our joys so that we know that we're not alone. It brings us back to the beauty and humanity of every moment. Art matters, and that is why we're here today. So I want to congratulate all the amazing recipients of this prize. President Biden and I are honored to host you at the White House. In drawings of the night sky, in the lines of a sculpture, in the shade of newly built structures, in the ringing notes of a trumpet, in the staging of a play, the artists we honor today invite us to join a conversation with the world, to step beyond the limits of our imagination. It's a conversation that speaks across borders, languages, and centuries as we tilt our heads to see just one more angle bend our ear to take in just one more note. Our hearts and hopes reach toward each other. And in that moment, we feel the hum of generations that are past and future. The gravitational pull of art as it changes us, creating something new and full of promise. And when we step away, we shine a little bit brighter, seeing the world around us in new, more beautiful colors. Thank you all for joining us to celebrate these amazing artists. It's wonderful to see members of the cabinet. Secretary Holland, where are you? Ah, uh, that way, <laughs> that way, I did see you. 
uh, Ambassador Tai and Representatives Pallone and Matsui uh, here supporting this program. Secretary Clinton, Hillary, it's an honor to welcome you back to the White House. <laughs> You are so loved. <laughs> Your lifetime of work has left an indelible mark on this country. Thank you for always doing all the good you can by all the means you can in all the ways you can. And if you don't know it, uh, Hillary is a fellow educator. So good luck this semester. I know you're going to love it. And I also want to thank Mr. Hieda and their excellencies, the ambassadors from Japan to the United States and the United Nations. Thank you for joining us today. Every spring, cherry blossoms burst into bloom in our capital city reminders of our strong friendship with Japan. And earlier this year, Mrs. Kashida and I planted one more, a new cherry tree on the White House lawn. But the ties that stretch between our nations are not just forged by heads of state. They are also created by people as we share the art and the pieces of our culture that make our souls sing. Thank you. Please welcome David Rockefeller, Jr. Good afternoon, First Lady Dr. Biden, Secretary Clinton, esteemed guests, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you, Dr. Biden, for that just thrilling introduction. You have the feeling of the arts in your bones, and thank you for reminding us of the importance of them. We are so grateful to you and to the President for your support of the arts and your recognition, obviously, that the vitality of arts and ideas in our society is central to the strength of our democracy. It is a great privilege to be in your home, this magnificent symbol of our great nation. Every artifact in the White House is imbued with history and conveys the story of the American people. What a great honor to be at the White House to celebrate the 2023 Premium Imperiale Laureates and grants for young artists. Now this is the third time the Premium Imperiale has been celebrated at the White House. Then First Lady Hillary Clinton and President Clinton hosted the 1994 laureates at this White House. And a special reception was held here for Prince and Princess Hitachi, the brother and sister-in-law of the then Japanese emperor, on their visit to the US for the 1999 awards. We have certainly come full circle to be at the White House again in the presence of Dr. Biden and Secretary Clinton as the U.S. advisor. Now, the first laureates were announced in 1989 at a place called Rockefeller Center <laughs> by my father, David Rockefeller Sr., who was the founding U.S. advisor. Then it was my honor to succeed him and to remain closely involved ever since. I would also like to recognize two other former U.S. advisors to whom we are 
deeply grateful for their dedication and leadership. Ambassador William Lures, who is with us today, Bill. He, he is an honorary advisor, and we're thrilled to have you here, Bill. And Caroline Kennedy, who recently served until she became ambassador to Australia, prior to which, of course, she was ambassador to Japan. I am so pleased that the Premium Imperiale continues to be one of the world's most important arts awards. Its mission, to recognize the vital role of artists in our international discourse and their contribution to peace and understanding has never surely been more important. I would like now to invite to the podium my good friend, Mr. Hisashi Hieda, chairman of the Japan Art Association, the founding organization of the Premium Imperiale Awards. Thank you so much, Hieda-san. え、ロクレス Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Rockefeller. Madam First Lady, Your Excellencies, distinguished guests, thank you all very much for being here on this auspicious occasion with the gracious support of First Lady Dr. Jill Biden and former First Lady and Secretary of State Hillary Clinton. It is my great privilege to proclaim the granting of the laureates of the 2023 Premium Imperiale and the recipients of the Grant for Young Artists at the White House. え、本来ですとこに総裁のお日立宮殿下がおいでになって祝辞を皆さんにお話しする予定でございましたけれども、体調不良によってこられませんので、日立宮様からお預かりしております。Permit me to start with the honor of conveying congratulatory remarks from His Imperial Highness Prince Hitachi honorary patron of the Japan Art Association, who regrettably is not able to join us today due to health reasons. え、本日はバイデン大統領夫人のご協力により第34回高松の夢殿会記念世界文化賞の授与者をホワイトハウスで紹介できますことに心から感謝をします。また、クリントン国際顧問ロックフラジュニア名誉顧問をはじめ多くの関係の皆様のご尽力に深く敬意を表します。受賞者若手芸術家少年団体の皆様にお祝いを申し上げるとともに、この賞が世界の人々の平和と協調に寄与することを心から願います。Speaking as his emissary, his imperial highness is deeply grateful for the gracious cooperation of First Lady Dr. Jill Biden in hosting today's celebration honoring the recipients of the 34th Premium Imperial Awards. He extends his heartfelt respect to all involved, including International Advisor Secretary Clinton and Honorary Advisor Mr. Rockefeller Jr. His Highness warmly congratulates the five laureates and both recipients of the Grant for Young Artists. It is His Imperial Highness's sincere hope that these awards will stand as a reminder of how the arts contribute to peace and harmony for all the people around the world. え、本日のこの発表は各国際顧問のおられます。イギリス、フランス、イタリア、ドイツ、日本の6カ国でも同時に現在発表されております。え、受賞式は来月の18日に東京の明治記念館で行われる予定です。This announcement today is being made simultaneously in six countries: the United Kingdom, France, Italy, Germany, and Japan, where the international advisors preside. And today's event will be followed by the Premium Imperiale Awards Ceremony, scheduled to be held in the Meiji Kinenkan in Tokyo next month, on the 18th of October. 
。ところで、この世界文化賞を主催します日本美術協会は、アメリカと大変な関わりがございます。1879年にアメリカの第18代グラン大統領が日本を訪問された際、時の明治天皇に、日本は文化によって海外との交流を図ったらいかがかという提言がなされまして、それを受けられて創設されましたのが、この賞を主催する日本美術協会でございます。したがって、歴代総裁は皇室が務められております。The Japan Art Association, the organization that established and presents the Premium Imperiale, has a great and enduring relationship with the United States dating back to 1879 when President Ulysses Grant visited Japan and met with the Meiji Emperor. The time together gave birth to the Japan Art Association, and the member of the Imperial family has been serving as honorary patron ever since. その時の創設メンバーは、アメリカのデイビッド・ロックフェラー氏、イギリスのエドワード・ヒース元首相、イタリアのアントレメ・ファンファーニ元首相、フランスのジャック・シロク元大統領、ドイツのヘルムート・シュミット元首相、そして日本の中曽根元首相がおり、明治ともに国際協力によって設立されたものでございます。The Premium Imperiale was literally founded on global cooperation. Its founding members were such distinguished individuals as David Rockefeller of the United States, Edward Heath, former Prime Minister of the United Kingdom, Amintore Fanfani, former Prime Minister of Italy, Jacques Chirac, former Pri President of France, Helmut Schmidt, former Chancellor of West Germany, and Yasuhiro Nakasone, former Prime Minister of Japan. 分断が進み、コロが読んでおります世界において、私どもは今後とも世界文化賞を通じて、人々のコロを癒し、芸術文化の一層の発展、振興に努め、世界の平和と繁栄に少しでも寄与することができればと願っているところであります。In today's world, where global cooperation is being challenged by the strain of increasing fragmentation, it is our wish that through the Premium Imperiale we continue to strive to further promote the arts and culture and their contribution to world peace and prosperity. ありがとうございました。It is now my deepest honor to introduce someone who has been a dear friend to the Japan Art Association for nearly 30 years, someone who has devoted her life and career to foster peace and cooperation around the world, international advisor to the Premium Imperiale, former First Lady, Senator, and Secretary of State, the Honorable Hillary Rodham Clinton. This is such a great honor、um, for me to be here and to be part of this、uh, celebration and announcement.、Uh, Mr. Hieda, thank you so much for、uh, that lovely introduction, but also for everything you do as the chairman of the Japan Art Association to promote cultural understanding through the arts. It is a delight for me to be here. Uh, with the First Lady, Dr. Biden. And I want to thank her and President Biden、uh, for opening the White House to us, and not just today, but for welcoming artists and their work on a continuing basis. I think it's significant that President Biden and Vice President Harris traveled through Asia this week. 
And that demonstrates, just as the event today does, of this administration's commitment to America's engagement with Japan and the crucial Asia-Pacific region, where so much of the history of the 21st century is being written. And we have no better friend or more important ally than Japan. I want to thank uh, my friends David and Susan Rockefeller for being such incredible partners and leaders in this uh, grand project of uniting people around uh, shared values and artistic uh, vision, and all of the committee uh, nominating members who are here on the American Committee, thank you very much for your advice and support uh, as we chose our nominees. I am honored to serve as the U.S. advisor uh, to the Premium Imperiali. And as David mentioned, and uh, it brought back a lot of great memories, uh, my husband and I had the privilege of welcoming the laureates to the White House in 1994, and then five years later, uh, members of the imperial family. You know, at a time when so much is happening to change the ways that we work and live and how we connect with one another, how we relate to the rest of the world, uh, it's so important uh, for us to recognize the critical role that the arts play in helping us understand our past and present while inspiring us to create a better future. As President Biden said when he reestablished the President's Committee on the Arts and the Humanities, the arts invigorate and strengthen our democracy and point the way toward progress. Well, the artists we celebrate tonight join a distinguished community of 174 past laureates, recognized for their achievements in painting, sculpture, architecture, music, and theater, and film. And several of them are with us today, and let me just uh, acknowledge them and perhaps ask them to stand up. Uh, Billy Chien and Todd Williams. <clears throat> They told uh, Dr. Biden and I during the receiving line they are hard at work on the Obama Library. So <laughs> being here today is a big deal, so thank you. Um, someone who has delighted the world, and me personally, and my daughter especially, Mikhail Baryshnikov. Another person who has a big presence here in Washington because of the remarkable work uh, that he led on the expansion, the reach of the Kennedy Center, Stephen Hull. And Sai Gua Chiang, who showed me a picture of me giving him a medal and <laughs> I, I had to say, his, it, it's not going to surprise you, his photos are much better organized than mine. Um, <laughs> and now I have the pleasure of recognizing uh, the people who are part of the 34th Premium Imperiali Laureates who will be honored at the ceremony in Tokyo next month. Uh, Via Selmans is the 2003 laureate for painting. Over a career that spans decades, she has developed a body of work that is captivating for the profound ways in which it perceives and depicts the world around us. She told Dr. Biden and me that she was a little surprised to be here because she's a slow painter. <laughs> well, the world has caught up with you, and we're so happy it has. Wynton Marsalis is the 2023 Laureate for Music. A trumpeter, composer, and educator, he has brought new audiences to American jazz and 
helped remove uh, so many of the racial, social, and intellectual barriers to music. And he is someone who, on a personal basis, just lights up a room. I'm always happy to see him, whether it's in the East Room of the White House or playing that great New Orleans sound as someone is laid to rest. You can always count on Wynton Marsalis. And Robert Wilson is the 2023 Laureate for Theater and Film, and he is a true pioneer. He has created some of the most important and memorable works in contemporary theater and opera. With his stunning set designs, his arresting lighting, his innovative choreography, he helped to reinvent a stage um, where time and space are redrawn and the experience of narrative is reimagined. And we are looking forward to whatever comes next, Robert. Thank you. <laughs> Two laureates who could not be with us this evening, uh, Olafar Eliasson is the 2023 Laureate for Sculpture. Uh, again, his works help to alter perception and raise awareness about the human condition and create uh, a sense of wonder. And Francis Carey is the 2023 Laureate for Architecture for his communal sensibility and design of works that are sustainable, elegant, and empathetic. So please join me in giving our 2023 Premium Imperiali Laureates another round of applause. I'd like to invite Mr. Hieda back to the stage to present the diplomas to the 2023 uh, Grant for Young Arts uh, Artists recipients. Because in addition to the Lifetime Achievement Awards, the Japan Art Association bestows an annual grant of 5 million yen to an organization nurturing the next generation of young artists. This year, the nominating committee and I selected two awardees from the United States. And it was a very hard choice, but we are thrilled um, at the two who are here uh, today. I'm delighted to announce that the Rural Studio of Alabama and the Harlem School of the Arts are the recipients of the 2023 grant for young artists. And I would like to invite Andrew Freer, the director of Rural Studio, to the stage. Rural Studio is a design-build architecture program run by Auburn University's School of Architecture, Planning, and Landscape Architecture. Its guiding ambition is to help students understand social responsibility in architecture through direct involvement in construction work as well as design. Congratulations. Thank you. I'd now like to invite to the stage James Horton, president of the Harlem School of the Arts. The Harlem School of the Arts was founded in 1964 in New York by soprano Dorothy Maynard. And it now teaches 1,600 students every year the majority of whom are African-American and Latino young people. It is committed to empowering students, fostering confidence and encouraging self-expression through interdisciplinary training in music, dance, theater, and the visual arts. Congratulations, James.
Before I introduce tonight's special performance, I want to say again how grateful I am to Dr. Biden for welcoming us all here uh, to celebrate these artists whose lifetime achievements connect us and the young people whose cre creativity uh, will also someday do the same. You know, Dr. Biden travels across the United States and around the world on behalf of the American people. And I can say from some experience that is an exhilarating but exhausting job. <laughs> but throughout it all, she has remained dedicated to her first calling as an educator and mentor of young people. Now, as she said, I've gone back to teaching recently after 50 years. <laughs> and I can attest it's a hard enough job without being first lady. But nothing could keep Dr. Biden from her students. In fact, when I was Secretary of State, I would visit uh, the Vice President's residence uh, for morning breakfast with the Vice President. And Dr. Biden would already be gone and in her classroom at the Northern Virginia Community College. You know, teaching like diplomacy is about connection. And Dr. Biden once said, it's about people to people, heart to heart. Well, the same is true of art and its transformative power to bring people together across time, space, and cultures. So in that spirit, I am so honored and delighted to welcome to the stage for a special performance representing one of this year's grant for young artists recipients, the Harlem School of the Arts All-Stars, accompanied by our 2023 Laureate for Music, Wynton Marsalis. <laughs> Distinguished guests, please remain in your seats as we transition the stage for the performance. Way to get to Harlem. Oh, 
hurry, get on board, it's coming. Listen to those prayers are coming. All aboard the A train. And soon you'll be on Sugar Hill in Harlem. parts of being First Lady, I think, seeing our young people and the things that they can do and how just amazing you all are. And Winton, you weren't too bad either. <laughs> <laughs> so I'd like to thank you all for coming again and um, invite you to join the reception uh, on the state floor. So thank you for being here. Distinguished guests, please remain in your seats as the First Lady departs. <laughs>